Hi. You want to hear a story about what actual failure is? Gather up. Now, I see people continue to talk about failure and success, and I keep doing my best to point out to them that failure, only thinking about failure, is a really bad point of attraction because, number one, um, failure doesn't feel that great, and I don't believe anyone who says it does. They are right when they say that failure is a good way to learn, but there's, there's a feeling associated with it, and it's not good. So here's my story. It is not that big of a deal. Just to illustrate that not all failure is fatal, okay, okay, please relax because good God. It was my first sous chef position. There was a, a menu item that called for a lot of caramel. And when I say a lot of caramel, I mean the base of the dessert was seven pounds of caramel. And then it had a caramel drizzle on top of that, which was probably another five pounds. That's a lot of sugar. And if you've never made caramel in your life, it's terrifying. If you get it on your skin and you wipe it off, it keeps burning. And then it burns its napalm, essentially. You have to know what you're doing because you can't taste it while you're making it. That, that would be a boo-boo. Caramel is very, very particular. It has to be a certain temperature and you can only cook it for so long because if you overcook caramel, and when I say overcook, I, I mean by seconds, you know what it starts to taste like? Cigarettes. Guess how I know. The dish that I was making was a caramel pudding that had a caramel drizzle on top of it. And so when you make a pudding, that's also a lot of heavy cream. It's a lot of milk. It's a lot of egg yolks. I'm talking like 45. And it takes a second. This is all very time consuming. So I made the caramel. And I've got other stuff that I'm trying to do at the same time. And then I'm like, all right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then I, I tempered the egg yolks and, and the, the milk together. And I'm like, it's fine. And then when it's finally cool enough to actually taste it, my partner at the time who was working there, he tasted it. I tasted it and he's like, you know what you have to do, right? Because it tasted like cigarettes. Do you think I quit my job because I burned the caramel, which is a colossal failure of time and wasted ingredients because my attention was spread so thin that I couldn't focus on what I was doing? No, I got rid of the caramel, I cleaned my pot and I made another batch because that's what a pro does. We, there is no crying in the kitchen. Believe me, I know. All of this can be summed up with, when I burned that caramel, which was a lot, it made me feel a certain way that I never wanted to feel again. I wasn't mad at myself, I wasn't mad at the world. It was just, man, damn it. And I didn't want to feel that way ever again. Um, do you think I ever burned caramel ever again? Nope, because I didn't ever want to feel that way again. Did a chef yell at me for... No, no one yelled at me. I yelled at myself, and that was enough. So, made the batch of caramel, life went on, and I made it again two days later, and life went on. So, if you're failing at something, that doesn't mean that you are a failure. It just means you messed something up. Just do it again. You know what you have to do. And the answer is not quit, not freak out, not cry like a baby, not do any of that stuff. Just, just get it right. That's it. Easy. Ish. It's a nice day out. I'm going to stay inside where the AC is and <laughs> like, favorite, subscribe, tell a friend, bring a friend, tell a friend that if they fail at something, that's fine. And you can't dodge failure. And it doesn't mean you're a human failure, it just means you mess something up and you can try again and get it right next time. That's all. Okay.